some nights. Some nights I think things are going to hell. And other nights, I'll know it's just me. And maybe I've reached the time in my life when I have to think about just like, what the hell I'm going to do? Hide under the blanket? Or get up and join the war again? So you said. And what time did he step into the bath? Just after nine. And you heard him struggling? No. No? The reason I'm asking is if, if he was choking on something or if he swallowed water down the wrong way, you'd have heard something. The music was loud. Oh. I was playing it very loud. And then you attempted resuscitation, right? Yes, of course. And then he called 911. No. Well, I'm going to need some advice on this one. Yeah. Yeah, there's some things. Yeah, I think we better call Homicide, get him down here. months ago. They hassle you at the border? No. Nope. Told mom she's coming up to visit my sister. Maybe you know her? Madeline, she calls herself. Maddie? Maybe something else. Don't know her. Maybe she's in Calgary. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you went home or found another place to sell yourselves, ladies. Go home yourself. We have every right to be here. If you don't like it, call the cops. Well, if the cops are any help, we wouldn't have to be here. Maybe that's because cops are some of our best customers. Honey, this is a residential area. These cars are going around the block 24 hours a day. I can't walk. I'm representing Mr. Bigler. Mr. Bigler's from Amsterdam. He's a city councilman here for the Society of Nations Convention on Prostitution. Oh. I'm wondering if we can have your cooperation in keeping this as discreet as possible. Just can't figure this out from what he says to what I see. Don't try. So I'm wondering, was there some sort of a relationship here? And how is that relevant? It was an accident. Well, if there was a relationship, the Dutchman here might be able to tell us if the deceased gentleman in the bathtub had a medical problem, something along those lines. I have some concerns over the press getting into this. I don't know what you want me to do about that. This is a free country, sir. At least it was last time I checked. I'm concerned what the press may imply in the relationship. So you, you don't mind if it's implied your client killed somebody, as long as it's not implied that he's gay? Understandable. Excuse me. She's out here. Maybe she's moved again. Yeah.
Okay, we got the room registered to a Dutch guy called Bigler. He's in town for this convention on prostitution. He's a delegate. What about the deceased? Well, he's in the bathtub. He, uh, apparently, according to Bigler, he's uh, had a seizure, thrashed around for a while, and just died. Really? Spot some funky about it or what? Well, you know, you'll, you'll see for yourself. The body looks like uh, it's got beat up around the head a little bit. He said he met the victim in the bar, asked him up for a drink, but behavior-wise, he calls his lawyer. He doesn't call 911. Worth a look. Mm. So let me know what you think, okay? Good night. Good night. See ya. Hey, Chick. You're a real rich guy here, expensive lawyer. I'll take my time. Yeah, take your time. Go over everything. Everything. Camp out for a couple weeks if you have to. All right. What's All right. going on? Bullshit story goes like this. He met him downstairs. Guy invites himself up, then says he wants to use the bathroom. Next thing, he's taking a bath uninvited. Hmm. Could be it happened like he says, and he's just acting like an asshole. Out of habit. Out of habit. Anyway, lawyer's sweating the press. Let's not give anything to the press just yet. Make them think they dodged a bullet. Bathroom's over here. You check, you got a bunny suit? Yeah, it's in the kit here. Help yourself. So I understand your client is a little sensitive about how this might be interpreted. Mm -hmm. So we expect he'd be willing to cooperate if we keep the press in the dark for a little while. Sure, we'd appreciate that. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna arrest you here for assault. I'd like you to step right over here. Strip off your clothes. Excuse me? But I'd like you to strip off your clothes and go over them for evidence. All right, stand on this plastic, strip your shoes, socks, pants, shirt, everything will be taken at all. And when that's done, you can put these on. And we'll take you downtown, you can make your statement there. In the meantime, you might want to grab them some more clothes, you can put them on at this station. Sorry about the inconvenience. We got an ID, Errol Sorrento. He's a legal secretary, no priors or convictions. But Nick has a theory. Yeah, I don't buy that Bigler goes down to the bar for five minutes and gets lucky. Right? I think this guy here was turning the trick. Good, anything else? Yeah, your ex says there's some bruising around the neck. My ex? But can we drop the ex, but it's getting old already, okay? You can run, but you can't hide. Anyway, the doctor says there's bruising around the neck. The hyoid bone is intact. Could be strangulation, maybe not. Like I was saying, this may go to court. That's my initial gut feeling anyway. The bruising could be interpreted either as manual, somebody pressing down, or as positional asphyxia. Bigler says he was trying to hold the guy's head up, trying to keep the air passage free, and then he couldn't move the body. Yeah, he's got water in the lungs. So what is the cause of death? Well, I'm leaning towards asphyxia, but I'm not signing off on this yet. I'm going to do a little more work here on the table, and toxicology may turn something up. Oh, we went through his clothes and found one of those, uh, Asthma inhalers. So when he took in the water in his lungs, uh, was he unconscious? Do we know that? Uh, well, uh, that's a problem. It could be as a result of being held under, he's gagging, trying to get air, or he hit his head and uh, having a bronchospasm, involuntary gasping for air, sucks in water. Yeah, it could go either way. Anyway, we could hold the suspect and make him wait. Do whatever you want, but Patricia's not going to make a determination anytime soon. Well, I'd like to make him sweat a little. Just on principle of him not giving a shit about this guy croaking in his tub. And then that line about picking him up. Bullshit. Really? It's total bullshit. He ordered takeout from an escort service. Anybody in the family can back that up? No, it's my opinion. Okay, let me check that one out. Thanks. It's yeah. working. Thanks. time with Chick going over the externals. We didn't find anything. Under the fingernails, you can miss a struggle. It's in the bath water. All the good stuff washes away. There's still a lot of room for interpretation though here, right? 
Like I say, if this gets called a homicide, the defense lawyer is going to have a field day. Anything but black and white. He was not a prostitute. So the subject of money was never discussed? No. What's the deal with the bath? You know, I invite a date back to the hotel for a little drink. They don't normally get the bath option. It just seems a little odd to me. He went into the bathroom, and I heard the water go on. Did he lock the door or leave it open? I don't know. Think about it. He either had the key, kicked it in, or his ghost got out of the bath. The door was open. So if the door was open and you hear him taking the bath, why don't you go in and ask him what he's doing? I didn't think it was polite to enter. What I think is you asked him to take a bath. Mr. Bigler, if this is an accident, it doesn't matter if you were having a homosexual relationship. It has no bearing. But if it's murder, well, then that's all going to come out of the trial in a big song and dance routine. That's just the way it is. It's an accident. So you pick him up in the bar with the intention to have sex, and then you invited him to take a bath. Yes. Okay, good. Now we're getting somewhere. So you had some kind of a special evening plan, huh? Except something went wrong. Maybe you made a crack about uh, your age or how unattractive you are. Maybe, maybe he was doing something you didn't like. And then there was a struggle. You're in the bath, he slips. That happens, right? Then you panic. No. No. I told you what happened. Is he a hooker? No. I think that's about it with that line. Anything else? Yeah. We may have more questions when we get the pathologist's report on cause of death. Hey, the boss wants to see you. What does he want? Well, I didn't say. Oh, no, this is no good. This is not going to work. I need way better intelligence than this, my girl. What is that supposed to mean? It means I got to know what he wants before I go in there. Would well, you like me to go through his drawers for you? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be a start. But basically, you got to do what you got to do. You got to be a mole. Now I'm a mole. Yep. Do you want to see me? I don't want you to take this red light district campaign any further, okay? I wasn't aware it was a campaign. You made a comment at the convention. Sonia Dong quoted you. Really? Oh, yeah. Hey, good quote. Except it makes it sound like the car in his office endorses it. No, that's not what I said. What I said was if they wanted to do something to reduce the risk, what they should do is something practical, like, say, setting up a red light district, is what I said. No politician would ever agree to that. That's not an argument, Jim. You want to reduce the risk. And how about HIV testing for sex trade workers? That'll stop the spread of AIDS, which we know is killing people. 28 women did not die from AIDS, Jim. They were murdered or disappeared. This is exactly where we were last year with Charlie Josephs. You got another serial killer theory going. Do you don't like that theory? I got another theory that involves... Uh... 28 individuals, each killing one hooker apiece. Other people favor 14 killing two apiece. There's some who say four killing seven apiece is good. Me, I'm much happier with the idea that one guy's killing all 28. Do you mind? This is your personal opinion. That's right. Next time, make it clear it's your personal opinion. Hmm. My, my personal opinion would be that we should set up a red light. Thank you. Subject's dead. Okay. Oh, uh, maybe you get the uh, press secretary for the mayor on the line for me. Hi. Hey, have you got any cigarettes? Sure. Thanks. Keep the rest for later. You know somebody called Madeline? Don't think so. I'm new. Mm. Maybe Cindy knows. Oh, I'll see you later. No, Thanks wait. for smokes. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, let me talk to Cindy. Hang on. I'm out of cigarettes. Well, maybe you should take the day off. Get some rest. Here. Took a day off before. 
one time. Jesus, Gwen. Are you going to carry the weight of this thing around with you for the rest of your life? That's too much for one person, okay? Quit blaming yourself, okay? You Who quit blaming blame? yourself, okay? Who am I going to blame? Thanks for the Look, stay in the car. I'll stay in the car. Let go! I think we need a red light district. Oh, gee, let me check, but I don't think political suicide is on the mayor's agenda. I mean, suicide, the streets are crawling with hookers. We got 28 dead ones. We're leading the league in HIV infection. We're right up there with the child prostitution. Come on, what do you guys need? Look, when it was proposed a couple of years ago, it didn't go over big with anybody. The mayor won't even comment. OK, well, off the record, what do you think his position might be? Off the record, he doesn't disagree with the idea. But you're going to have to find influential allies. Well, I got a gang of pissed off hookers. How about that? Neighborhood support. OK, let me stick handle with that then, OK? Beautiful. Don't blindside him. That's all I ask. Deal. Good luck. It's a long shot. Well, long shots pay off. And very big. Sorry, sir. Old friend. Hello, Louise from Elegant Companions. How can I help you? Yes, she is new. Wonderful. Yes, she'll be there. OK, this and this. OK? Here's how it works. You wear a pager. When you get buzzed, if you're not here, you phone Louise. Louise tells you where to go, what to wear, any details you need to know. Take a cab to and from always, unless it's out of here. Got it? Yeah. I feel like Cinderella. Check out your bedroom. It's at the back. Hi, Barbara. Oh, sorry. Hi, uh, could you go tell your mommy that there's somebody on the phone for her? Thank you. Hi, Barbara. Uh, Dominic Da Vinci. Dominic, no, no, I was the one that gave you the, uh, I met you on the street, I gave you the cell phone. Right, right, Da Vinci, yeah, Leonardo. Yeah, so you got your car back from the, uh, the tow. People. Well, look, look, the actual reason I'm calling is that I thought it might be kind of nice if we got together sometime, even tonight, if you're free, why not, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. Sure. Sure. Okay. Well, you know, you take care of you want to do a coffee sometime? That's what you want to do? All right. Why not? 
I got to jump right now, so you take care. I'll give you a call, okay? Bye. Hi. Yeah, I want to order a pizza. Sorry about that. There's another one, right? 29. Huh? This should be number 29. We're going to have to ask you to wear the boots. Thanks. Thanks. I want you to see this for yourself. We're going to be here for a while, I'll tell you. I'm going to scare them, Leo. Well, you're not going to get any sleep tonight. No. Show me. Yeah, come on around here. He stashed you between the uh, dumpster and the fence. You see what we're dealing with? It's a partial corpse. But this isn't the scene. I mean, this isn't the initial scene. Oh, no, not enough blood. The vehicle, there is a vehicle. It's going to be very messy. You see where they dumped her? Right in the heart of the low track. No lights. Anybody can come and go. This is the middle of the forest. Nobody sees anything. The wildlife, the wildlife saw something. I'll bet you that. Who called it in? A woman from a payphone said she saw the body, that's all. I already called psychiatry, and I'm looking for, uh, what do you call it, a oh, shit, uh, Profiler. A, Profiler. A forensic shrink. Uh, this is way over my head, I'm telling you. It's off the scale, yeah. You know, if it was 29 anything but hookers getting off, there'd be some action. We don't have 29 bodies, Leo. We have one. 29 blue-haired sweethearts from Caresdale had a gone missing? What would have happened? <laughs> there'd be a blue-ribbon task force working 24-7. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. You know, I think the dumpster was empty. The rest of her might have been in there. So I'd like a work detail out the uh, dump. Leo? Yeah, OK. Hey, Leo, what's your feelings about a, a red light district? That makes sense to me. A little late for this lady, though. How they ever walked on those things? Morning, Maddie. Breakfast is on the table for you. We've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon. He's coming here. Why? There's nothing wrong with me. Check that out. All these missing hookers. The guys you're going to be dating are lawyers, stockbrokers. They want to know you're clean. That's what you face in the streets down there. Anyway, doctor's coming over at 4. You ever get sick, knocked up, anything, he's the guy to see. Yeah, he's out at the dump. He should be on his way here, and we should wait for him, because I don't want to do this more than once. What do we know so far? Well, we've got the use of several different weapons for cutting implements. Any idea if any of them was the fatal one? Not yet. She was alive through some of it. I don't think she died from the wounds, though. I won't know until I cut her open, but it looks like there's something jammed in the back of her throat. Sonny, um, do you mind if I do a cardiac exam? Any particular reason? Just some ongoing muscle research on traumatic death. I'll do the forensic report. Fine by me. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. This is going to be an all-nighter. I want to go over the body with the ultraviolet, see if we can grab any trace or fingerprints. Any luck at the dump? No. The things people throw away, you wouldn't believe. Like women, for instance. Come on. Five-star hotel, world-class rep, and you're telling me that you won't fix up a guy looking for a blowjob with the right phone number? If somebody wants an escort service, they look in the yellow pages. 
Is that right? And if an escort wants to work this hotel and cross unharassed through the lobby, who's collecting the toll? Not me. Anything else? No, that's just about it. Don't be thinking I believe you, though. You'd just be kidding yourself. I'm taking you off my Christmas list and putting you on that other one I keep. Asshole. Oh, what'd you get? I found a cotton wadding in her throat. That's what she choked on. Smells like some kind of anesthetic. And then she was cut up. Let me see. All right. Hey, I read your thing on the red light district. What'd you think? You think that would make a difference? Couldn't hurt to try it, I guess. Where would you put it? Well, that's the problem. You need a, you need a neighborhood where there's a will. So I was thinking like the perfect spot would be uh, that South Shore of False Creek. Uh -uh. No, that's my neighborhood. What do you think? I want to get hassled every time I walk out the front door. Jerks trying to pick me up. No. Okay. Um, I think this is the file you wanted. February '95. Also a dismemberment, but they convicted a guy on that. Thank you. Anytime. Okay. You. I'm gonna be picketing your office. Why don't you put it in your neighborhood? Like okay. Gabriella get propositioned every time she peeks her head out the front door. Terrific. That change your mind in a hurry. Bye bye. What have we got there? I did an autopsy on a similar case a few years ago, also found around the corner from the Hastings Street mm -hmm. open house. Yeah? Good. So you and Mick, what's the story? You still seeing each other? Yeah, we our incredibly busy and underpaid schedules allow it. Start with me, okay? I don't make the budgets around here. Stop it. Let's deal with this. Mm -hmm. We got cab driver. Paid for our sex, dropped her off in the corner. Wait a minute, I know this guy. This is a lying piece of shit scumbag, this guy. I know him. You know what he does? He writes me six letters a year from prison. He's a total press hound. This guy is guilty. So you and Mick, uh, what's the story there? Are you getting married? <laughs> Are you gonna get married? Like I tell you if we were. You can trust me. Simple yeah. question. Are you gonna get married? Hi, sorry. One second, this is good. Are you getting Bye. married? Are you really? Come on, that's not fair. Hi. Hi. Uh-oh. Dad. I can't live with mom anymore. It's like every time I go to do something, I get the college speech every two minutes. My sweetheart. What are you going to do with your life? Like college is the answer to everything. I mean, maybe I don't even want to go to college. Like, maybe ever. Not ever. This is what you're telling your mother? No, 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 college. College is a great opportunity, if nothing else. Dad, you didn't go to college. And you've got a good job. Yeah, but you know, I'll... Right, ultimately, it does come down to, you know, whatever's gonna make you happy. Get your feet off the couch. Okay? So? Can I, like, stay with you instead of, like, going back to mom's just for, like, a week, please? Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let, me, let me just think now. There's some things. Please, Dad. Sure. Sure, you can stay with me. If that's what makes you happy, if that's what you want, that's what I want. Uh, she's healthy. Very nice. <laughs> Tell your friends. Oh, hey, before I forget, uh, I need a script for one of the girls. She's got a yeast infection. Where did you find her? Bought her from a friend. The latest victim has yet to be identified. If you recognize the woman in this drawing, please contact Vancouver Homicide at the number on the screen. Police insist that there is no evidence connecting this murder with any of them. Homicide, please. It's confidential. Homicide. Detective Shannon. I'm calling because of what happened last night down on East Hastings Street. Who is this? I saw what happened to that hooker, and I was thinking that maybe you'd like to know about it. Sure I would. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to cost you some money, though. Yeah. Well, what's your information? I want the reward. What reward are we talking about? The reward for who's killing the hookers. Uh, hang on a sec. I'm going to check on that. Hey, Mick, have we got a reward out that I don't know about on that East Hastings thing? East Hastings? The dead hooker? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Hello. Um, I can't say anything over the phone about that. It's not public knowledge. I'm 
going to have to go and talk to somebody and then get back to you. So how can I get a hold of you? I got a number. Um, just hang on. This isn't good enough. Look, we need something to leverage the guy with. I'm sorry, that's the way it is. You want another report that says homicide, you know what to do. So this is what your final report's gonna be? Barring any last-minute revelations from the tax report. Yeah, well, we'd like to get that as soon as possible. Well, you might want to put in a call. Excuse me. <sighs> want me to push talks a little, see if they can fast-track it? Yeah. Yeah, we aren't getting any favors elsewhere. If by the end of the week, I'll make you dinner. Good. I'm hungry. See ya. You're out of your mind. What are you talking about? You know what you do? Ignore this? I was just elected on a platform of bringing business into the this East Side. This is big business. Oh, yeah, red light district. Yeah. Not what my constituents were thinking when I promised them new initiatives. Okay, have you ever been to Amsterdam? Alongside the hookers, you got beautiful clubs, restaurants. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. A hooker theme park. That's what you're after, huh? Amsterdam, I think you're smoking something. This is not going to go away, man. Jack. Yeah, Trust also, me on this. Yeah, well, it also isn't coming into my neighborhood, okay? Somewhere else. Anywhere else, pal. I can't believe this. You know, you'd have better luck trying to locate a toxic waste site. You know, the people aren't ready for this. You know? No. Where are you with the diplomat? Guy's an asshole. He's full of shit. That's not in the criminal code, so... Yeah, well, we got a complaint from his lawyer that you're harassing him because of his sexual preference. Well, that's complete bullshit. I don't care if the guy's gay or bisexual or whatever. He's lying to me, and I resent him and his lawyer who's counseling them to bullshit. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Just letting you know, his lawyer's making noises along the lines of slander. Yeah? That guy'd be more concerned if there was a hairball clog in the drain. Yeah, well, until you got something to back it up, you better move on. Sir? Leo. Yeah? What's the picture on this dismemberment thing? Not so rosy. The part was looking pretty bad, actually. That's the 29th one that got missing or dead. Missing, Leo. 29th missing. Yeah, well, this one ain't missing. She's dead. You know, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, somebody, the mayor, the attorney general, somebody at least ought to be making a statement. I don't want to hear anything about serial killers until we got some evidence to support it, okay? Well, actually, there is a related case, Vincent Marks, except he's in jail. You heard about him? I'll uh, reacquaint myself. And then somebody called, told me they saw the killer, so I'm going to take the meeting. She said she heard that on the street there's a $50,000 reward out. Christ, that's all we need. A rumor like that. It's like declaring hunting season's open. Hi there, can I help you? Yeah, um... I called earlier about the woman on TV that they're trying to identify. Yes, yes, um, I'm sorry, your name is? Madeline Marchetti. Right, all right. Um, if you'll just have a seat, I'll get somebody who can help you. I don't know why she would be up here. She lives in Portland. Can I smoke? Uh, just, uh, take a seat. Somebody be right with you. Can I smoke? No. Madeline Marchetti is here about the woman you're trying to identify. On the TV last night. Listen, I pulled too many files on that. Total mess here. Thanks. Hi, I'm uh, Dominic Da Vinci. Madeline. Nice to meet you. Are you, are you with anybody? No. So you know that normally you should be dealing with the police in a situation like this. I just want to know if it's her or if it's not. Okay, well, what I'll do is I'll have somebody bring up a photograph. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Terrific. Just have a seat, then I'll make a call. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey, honey. Dad. Well, just... I, I, I'm, I'm just giving you the heads up. Mom's mad because uh, you said that I didn't have to go to college. No, 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 that's not what I said. That is a misquote. You know what? You gotta be in journalism school because you're halfway there already. No. She laughs. Did you hear what that sign said? Finished. Hi. Hi. 
So, uh, Gabriella, you're living with your dad full time now? Yep. That would drive me crazy. No, it's great. He's hardly ever there. I have, like, the whole place to myself. Yeah? How's Keith? Who? Santa Moore. How'd that reward thing work out? I'm gonna have to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. What time of day do you think this happened? Um, around, uh, quarter after one. And where exactly? Um, in the alley, near the Hastings Street overpass. Well, that's good. Okay, what kind of particulars have you got? I got a plate. Great, let me have it. How am I supposed to know that you're gonna pay off on this thing? I get the criminal, you get paid. Okay. Um, I got the first three letters. When was the last time you had contact with her? Maybe a month ago, I sent her a postcard. Is that why she came to town? Because uh, she's looking for you? And what's this with the police? You don't want to talk to them? What are they going to do? Well, they might want to know a few things. They might want to know, for example, how long your mother's been hooking. My mother wasn't a hooker. She was a teacher. She taught elementary school. Well, they want to know that. Well, you can tell them. I don't want to be hassled okay. on top of everything okay. else. Okay, that's fine. Now, what about other relatives? Is there anybody else living close by? Grandma in Portland. Yeah. What's going to happen to her now? Well, you know, they'll hold on to the body for a while for evidence, and then at some point they'll release it. And if you want, you can be notified. Would you like that? Yeah, I'll give you my pager number. Okay. You know, there are options to uh, the life that you're in. If you ever want to talk to anybody, I'm serious. Just call me, okay? Anytime. Yeah. Is that your daughter upstairs? Yeah. She's very pretty. Oh, thank you. Yeah, fat chance. You know I'm a good divorce lawyer. What for? You know somebody or not? Well, what are you looking for? I'm a good divorce lawyer. Well, maybe you want a mediator. You know, you could sit both parties down and work out something reasonable. No, it's not going to work. You want a gunslinger? Yeah. Well, I know an expensive guy and I know a cheap guy. Now, the cheap guy, you know, he's yeah. just cheaper in the long run. And the expensive guy, he's just expensive. I'll get you a name. Leo. You know, I've been uh, going over this file on that similar case. Oh, yeah? Vincent Marks, cab driver? You did the interview, so I was wondering uh, what was your impression. He did the crime. Okay. So maybe I should be checking up on who he's been buddying up with on the inside? Good idea. Because uh, this is looking either real coincidental or this last guy had knowledge. Hmm. Follow up along those lines. You have any luck with that plate your witness gave you? Any time now. Oh, by the way, that uh, dismemberment, that wasn't a hooker, that was a school teacher. Right, no, that's a misquote. That's taken way out of context. I never told her that she didn't have to go to college. In fact, I suggest a journalism school tour the way she can put a spin on things. Well, whatever. Oh, thanks. She'll get tired of slacking and eating a steady diet of cereal at your house, and she'll change her mind. She always does. Okay. Um, I'm going to rule accidental in the death of er Errol Sorrento, young man in the bathtub. Well, you've been uncertain about that. What? Yeah, well, toxicology came back with the presence of penicillin in the blood. Yeah? And that would indicate uh, what exactly, no? Well, either that he was unaware of what he was taking or unaware of what reaction it would cause. Okay, no, this is a, a violent reaction of penicillin and um, a... Anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis, good. Yeah. Okay, now, so you got the chain reaction ultimately uh, results in swelling water, asphyxial... Right, right. How long would it take to get this negative reaction of penicillin? Well, you had almost no food in his stomach, I don't know, um, 10, 15 minutes even. Okay, so let me get this straight in my head. Uh, he pops the pill five to ten minutes later, and now he's in the bath, and then he's hit with this violent thing, right? Right, right. No time to think, no thought, even he's just suddenly thrashing around in the bath. Sure, here he is, you know, he's reaching up for that towel bar, he's trying to pull himself up, obviously. He maybe even gets to his feet, 
collapses, bangs his head, lands in the position you found him, he's not getting air. That's right. it. That's good. I'm okay with external. Okay. I'll write out the report. Any idea now about why he had penicillin? Well, he had a mild STD infection. That'd be my guess. Okay, well, let the police know that you think it's accidental as soon as possible because they get a suspect from another country, okay? Yeah, and I'm sure they'll be disappointed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, about Gabriella, uh, apparently she wants to move in with me full time. Uh-huh. Well, I'm happy with our arrangement that uh, it's one week with you, one week with me, see? It, it's fine. It, it works for me as long as she wants. Let's do a little review. What kind of a tool exactly was used to cut up the body? I wouldn't know the answer to that because I did not do the crime. Okay, Vincent, listen, this is where I'm coming from. I think there's a guy out there on the street, and he's doing exactly what you did. Getting fitted up for something he didn't do. What? I got set up. Yeah, sure. See, I think you talked to some guy in here, Vincent. You talked to some guy, and he picked up some technique. Who am I going to talk to? Huh? I'm in my cell 23 hours a day. I'm out for one hour. Nobody but the birds around. Who am I going to talk to? The guy used a method similar to yours. Similar? Or exactly the same? Well, I'm constrained from saying anything else. When did this happen? Huh? See what I got. The guy on the left here is Lachlan Winslow. Owns West Coast sugar refineries and half the real estate on the coast. Oh, Lord. Yeah. He also owns 99 Cadillac, your witness, put at the scene. And so to be interesting. Come along in, miss. You just stand right here, please. Yep. That's him. That's the guy I saw. contact with her. Maybe a month ago I sent her a postcard. Is that why she came to town? Because uh, she's looking for you? Now what's this with the police? You don't want to talk to them? What are they going to do? Well, they might want to know a few things. They might want to know, for example, how long your mother's been hooking. My mother wasn't a hooker. She was a teacher. She taught elementary school. Well, they want to know that. Well, you can tell them. I don't want to be hassled okay. on top of everything okay. else. Okay, that's fine. Now, what about other relatives? Is there anybody else living close by? Grandma in Portland. Yeah. What's going to happen to her now? Well, you know, they'll hold on to the body for a while for evidence, and then at some point they'll release it. And if you want, you can be notified. Would you like that? Yeah, I'll give you my pager number. Okay. 
You know, there are options to uh, the life that you're in. If, if you ever want to talk to anybody, I'm serious. Just call me, okay? Anytime. Yeah. Is that your daughter upstairs? Yeah. She's very pretty. Oh, thank you. You have fat chance. You know I'm a good divorce lawyer. What for? You know somebody or not? Well, what are you looking for? I'm a good divorce lawyer. Well, maybe you want a mediator. You know, you could sit both parties down and work out something reasonable. No, it's not gonna work. You want a gunslinger? Yeah. Well, I know an expensive guy and I know a cheap guy. Well, the cheap guy, you know, he's just cheaper in the long run. And the expensive guy, he's just expensive. I'll get you an eight. Leo. You know, I've been uh, going over this file on that similar case. Oh, yeah? Vincent Marks, cab driver? You did the interview, so I was wondering uh, what was your impression? He did the crime. OK. So maybe I should be checking up on who he's been buddying up with on the inside? Good idea. Because uh, this is looking either real coincidental or this last guy had knowledge. Hmm. Yeah. Follow up along those lines. You have any luck with that plate your witness gave you? Any time, Doc. Oh, by the way, that uh, dismemberment, that wasn't a hooker, that was a school teacher. Right, no, that's a misquote. That's taken way out of context. I never told her that she didn't have to go to college. In fact, I suggest a journalism school to her the way she can put a spin on things. Well, whatever. Oh, thanks. She'll get tired of slacking and eating a steady diet of cereal at your house, and she'll change her mind. She always does. Okay. Um, I'm going to rule accidental in the death of er Errol Saran. Uh, you said that I didn't have to go to college? No, 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 that's not what I said. That is a misquote. You know what? You ought to be in journalism school because you're halfway there already. No. She laughs. Did you wait outside to set me? Finish. Hi. Hi. So, uh, Gabriella, you're living with your dad full-time now? Yep. That would drive me crazy. No, it's great. He's hardly ever there. I have, like, the whole place to myself. Yeah? How's Keith? Who? Sanamore? How'd that reward thing work out? I'm gonna have to ask you a couple of questions. Okay. What time of day do you think this happened? Um, around uh, quarter after one. And where exactly? Um, in the alley, near the Hastings Street overpass. Well, that's good. Okay, what kind of particulars have you got? I got a plate. Great, let me have it. How am I supposed to know that you're gonna pay off on this thing? I get the criminal, you get paid. Okay. Um, I got the first three letters. When was the last time you had contact with her? Maybe a month ago, I sent her a postcard. Is that why she came to town? Because uh, she's looking for you? Now, what's this with the police? You don't want to talk to them? What are they going to do? Well, they might want to know a few things. They might want to know, for example, how long your mother's been hooking. My mother wasn't a hooker. She was a teacher. She taught elementary school. Well, they want to know that. Well, you can tell them. I don't want to be hassled okay. on top of everything okay. else. Okay, that's fine. Now, what about other relatives? Is there anybody else living close by? Graham in Portland. Yeah. What's going to happen to her now? Well, you know, they'll hold on to the body for a while for evidence, and then at some point they'll release it. And if you want, you can be notified. Would you like that? Yeah, I'll give you my pager number. Okay. You know, there are options to uh, the life that you're in. It. If you ever want to talk to anybody, I'm serious. Just call me, OK? Anytime. Yeah. Is that your daughter upstairs? Yeah. She's very pretty. Oh, thank you. You have fat chance. You know I'm a good divorce lawyer. What for? 
You know somebody or not? Well, what are you looking for? A good divorce lawyer. Well, maybe you want a mediator. You know, you could sit both parties down and work out something reasonable. Two minutes. What's the pitch? I think we need a red light district. <laughs> Gee, let me check, but I don't think political suicide is on the mayor's agenda. I mean, suicide, the streets are crawling with hookers. We got 28 dead ones. We're leading the league in HIV infection. We're right up there with the child prostitution. Come on, what do you guys need? Look, when it was proposed a couple of years ago, it didn't go over big with anybody. The mayor won't even comment. Okay, well, off the record, what do you think his position might be? Off the record, he doesn't disagree with the idea. But you're going to have to find influential allies. Well, I got a gang of pissed off hookers. How about that? neighborhood support. Okay, let me stick handle with that then. Okay, beautiful. Don't blindside him. That's all I ask. Deal. Good luck. It's a long shot. Well, long shots pay off. Okay, very big. Sorry, sir. Old friend. Hello, Louise from Elegant Companions. How can I help you? Yes, she is new. Wonderful. Yes, she'll be there. Okay, this... No this okay here's how it works you wear a pager when you get buzzed if you're not here you phone louise louise tells you where to go what to wear any details you need to know take a cab to and from always unless it's out of here got it yeah i feel like cinderella check out your bedroom it's at the back Hang on a second. Wait, wait, let me talk to Cindy. Hang on. Wait, wait. Cigarettes. Well, maybe you should take the day off. Get some rest. Here. Took a day off before. One time. Jesus, Gwen. Are you gonna carry the weight of this thing around with you for the rest of your life? That's too much for one person, okay? Quit blaming yourself, okay? You Who quit blaming blame? yourself, okay? Who am I gonna blame? Look, car. stay in the car. Oh, stay in the car. Let go. I think we need a red light district. Oh, 
<laughs> Gee, let me check, but I don't think political suicide is on the mayor's agenda. I mean, suicide, the streets are crawling with hookers. We got 28 dead ones. We're leading the league in HIV infection. We're right up there with the child prostitution. Come on, what do you guys need? Look, when it was proposed a couple of years ago, it didn't go over big with anybody. The mayor won't even comment. Okay, well, off the record, what do you think his position might be? Off the record, he doesn't disagree with the idea. But you're going to have to find influential allies. Well, I got a gang of pissed off hookers. How about that? Neighborhood support. Okay, let me stick handle with that then. Okay, beautiful. Don't blindside him. That's all I ask. Deal. Good luck. It's a long shot. Well, long shots pay off. And very big. Sorry, sir. Old friend. Hello, Louise from Elegant Companions. How can I help you? Yes, she is there. Wonderful. Yes, she'll be there. Okay, this. On this. Okay? Here's how it works. You wear a pager. When you get buzzed, if you're not here, you phone Louise. Louise tells you where to go, what to wear, any details you need to know. Take a cab to and from always, unless it's out of here. Got it? Yeah. I feel like Cinderella. Hi. Hey. Have you got any cigarettes? Sure. Thanks. Keep the rest for later. You know somebody called Madeline? Don't think so. I'm new. Uh, maybe Cindy knows. Oh, I'll see you later. No, Thanks for smoke. Hang on a second. Wait, let me talk to Cindy. Hang on. Wait, wait. I'm out of cigarettes. Oh. Well. Maybe you should take the day off. Get some rest. Here. Took a day off before. One time. Jesus, Gwen. Are you gonna carry the weight of this thing around with you for the rest of your life? That's too much for one person, okay? Quit blaming yourself, okay? You Who quit blaming blame? yourself, okay? Who am I gonna blame? Thanks for the Look, stay in the car. Oh, stay in the car. Let go! I think we need a red light this oh. Gee, let me check, but I don't think political suicide is on the mayor's agenda. I mean, suicide, the streets are crawling with hookers. We got 28 dead ones. We're leading the league in HIV infection. We're right up there with the child prostitution. Come on, what do you guys need? Look, when it was proposed a couple of years ago, it didn't go over big with anybody. The mayor won't even comment. Okay, well, off the record, what do you think his position might be? Off the record, he doesn't disagree with the idea. But you're gonna have to find influential allies. Well, I got a gang of pissed off hookers. How about that? Neighborhood support. Okay, let me stick handle with that then. Okay, beautiful. Don't blindside him. That's all I ask. Deal. Good luck. It's a long shot. Well, long shots pay off. And very big. Sorry, sir. Old friend. Hello, Louise from Elegant Companions. How can I help you? Yes, she is there. Wonderful. Yes, she'll be there. Okay, this. On this. Okay? Here's how it works. You wear a page. We have every right to be here. If you don't like it, call the cops. Well, if the cops are any help, we wouldn't have to be here. Maybe that's because cops are some of our best customers. Honey, this is a residential area. These cars are going around the block 24 hours a day.
I'm representing Mr. Bigler. Mr. Bigler's from Amsterdam. He's a city councilman here for the Society of Nations Convention on Prostitution. Oh. I'm wondering if we can have your cooperation in keeping this as discreet as possible. Just can't figure this out from what he says to what I see. Don't try. So I'm wondering, was there some sort of a relationship here? And how is that relevant? It was an accident. Well, if there was a relationship, the Dutchman here might be able to tell us if the deceased gentleman in the bathtub had a medical problem, something along those lines. I have some concerns over the press getting into this. I don't know what you want me to do about that. This is a free country, sir. At least it was last time I checked. I'm concerned what the press may imply in the relationship. See, you don't mind if it's implied your client killed somebody, as long as it's not implied that he's gay. Okay. Understandable. Excuse me. Maybe she's moved again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, we got the room registered to a Dutch guy called Bigler. He's in town for this convention on prostitution. He's a delegate. What about the deceased? Well, he's in the bathtub. He, uh, apparently, according to Bigler, he's uh, had a seizure, thrashed around for a while, and just died. Really? Spot something funky about it or what? Well, you know, you'll, you'll see for yourself. The body looks like a, it's got beat up around the head a little bit. He said he met the victim in the bar, asked him up for a drink, but beat. Some nights, some nights I think things are going to hell. And other nights, I'll know it's just me, and maybe I've reached the time in my life when I have to think about just like. What the hell am I going to do? Hide under the blanket? Or get up and join the war again? Yeah, so you said. What time did he step into the bath? Just after nine. And you heard him struggling? No. No? The reason I'm asking is if, if he was choking on something or if he swallowed water down the wrong way, you'd have heard something. The music was loud. Oh. I was playing it very loud. And then you attempted resuscitation, right? Yes, of course. And then he called 911. Well, I'm gonna need some advice on this one. Yeah. Yeah, there's some things. Yeah, I think we better call homicide, get him down here. you at the border? No. Nope. Told mom she's coming up to visit my sister. Maybe you know her? Madeline, she calls herself. Maddie? Maybe something else. Don't know her. Maybe she's in Calgary. Hey, we'd appreciate it if you went home or found another place to sell yourselves, ladies. Go home yourself. We have every right to be here. If you don't like it, call the cops. Well, if the cops are any help, we wouldn't have to be here. Maybe that's because cops are some of our best customers. 
Honey, this is a residential area. These cars are going around the block 24 hours a day. Hi, Barbara. Oh, sorry. Hi. Uh, could you go tell your mommy that there's somebody on the phone for her? Thank you. Hi, Barbara. Uh, Dominic Da Vinci. Dominic, no, no, I was the one that gave you the. Uh, I met you on the street. I gave you the cell phone. Right, right. Da Vinci. Yeah, Leonardo. Yeah. So you got your car back from the, uh, the tow. People. Well, look, the actual reason I'm calling is that I thought it might be kind of nice if we got together sometime, even tonight, if you're free, why not, you know? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that one. Sure. Sure. Okay. Well, you know, you take care of you want to do a coffee sometime? That's what you want to do? All right. Why not? I got to jump right now, so you take care. I'll give you a call. Okay, bye. Yeah, I want to order a pizza. It's another one of us. Sorry about that. It's another one, right? 29. Huh? This should be number 29. We're going to have to ask you to wear the boots. Okay, thanks. I want you to see this for yourself. We're going to be here for a while, I'll tell you. You're going to scare him, Leo. Well, you're not going to get any sleep tonight. No. Show me. Yeah, come on around here. He stashed you between the uh, dumpster and the fence. You see what we're dealing with? It's a partial corpse. But this isn't the scene. I mean, this isn't the initial scene. No, no, not enough blood. The vehicle, there is a vehicle. We got an ID, Errol Sorrento. He's a legal secretary, no priors or convictions. But Nick has a theory. Yeah, I don't buy that Bigler goes down to the bar for five minutes and gets lucky. Right? I think this guy here was turning the trick. Good, anything else? Yeah, your ex says there's some bruising around the neck. My ex? But can we drop the ex, but it's getting old already, okay? You can run, but you can't hide. Anyway, the doctor says there's bruising around the neck. The hyoid bone is intact. Could be strangulation, maybe not. Like I was saying, this may go to court. That's my initial gut feeling anyway. The bruising could be interpreted either as manual, somebody pressing down, or as positional asphyxia. 
Bigler says he was trying to hold the guy's head up, trying to keep the air passage free, and then he couldn't move the body. Yeah, he's got water in the lungs. So what is the cause of death? Well, I'm leaning towards asphyxia, but I'm not signing off on this yet. I'm going to do a little more work here on the table, and toxicology may turn something up. Oh, we went through his clothes and found one of those uh, asthma inhalers. So when he took in the water in his lungs, uh, was he unconscious? Do we know that? Uh, well, uh, that's a problem. It could be as a result of being held under, he's gagging, trying to get air, or he hit his head and uh, having a bronchospasm, involuntary gasping for air, sucks in water. Yeah, it could go either way. Anyway, we could hold the suspect and make him wait. Do whatever you want, but Patricia's not going to make a determination anytime soon. Well, I'd like to make him sweat a little. Just on principle of him not giving a shit about this guy croaking in his tub. And then that line about picking him up. Bullshit. Really? It's total bullshit. He ordered takeout from an escort service. Anybody in the family can back that up? No, it's my opinion. Okay, let me check that one out. Thanks. It's yeah. working. Thanks. time with Chick going over the externals. We didn't find anything. Under the fingernails, you didn't miss a struggle. It's in the bath water. All the good stuff washes away. There's still a lot of room for interpretation, though, you're right. Like I say, if this gets cold... No. I told you what happened. Is he a hooker? No. I think that's about it with that line. Anything else? Yeah. We may have more questions when we get the pathologist report on cause of death. Hey, the boss wants to see you. What does he want? I well, didn't say. Oh, no, this is no good. This is not going to work. I need way better intelligence than this, my girl. What is that supposed to mean? It means I got to know what he wants before I go in there. Would well, you like me to go through his drawers for you? Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be a start. Look, basically, you got to do what you got to do. You got to be a mole. Now I'm a mole. You want to see me? I don't want you to take this red light district campaign any further, okay? I wasn't aware it was a campaign. You made a comment at the convention. Sonia Dong quoted you. Really? Oh, yeah. Hey, good quote. Except it makes it sound like the coroner's office endorses it. No, that's not what I said. What I said was if they wanted to do something to reduce the risk, what they should do is something practical, like, say, setting up a red light district, is what I said. No politician would ever agree to that. That's not an argument, Jim. You want to reduce the risk. And how about HIV testing for sex trade workers? That'll stop the spread of AIDS, which we know is killing people. 28 women did not die from AIDS, Jim. They were murdered or disappeared. This is exactly where we were last year with Charlie Josephs. You got another serial killer theory going. Do you don't like that theory? I got another theory that involves... Uh... 28 individuals, each killing one hooker apiece. Other people favor 14 killing two apiece. There's some who say four killing seven apiece is good. Me, I'm much happier with the idea that one guy is killing all 28. Do you mind? This is your personal opinion. That's right. Next time, make it clear it's your personal opinion. Hmm. My, my personal opinion would be that we should set up a red light. Thank you. Subject's dead. OK. Oh, uh, maybe you get the uh, press secretary for the mayor on the line for me. Hi. Hey, have you got any cigarettes? Sure. Thanks. Keep the rest for later. You know somebody called Madeline? Don't think so. I'm new. Uh, maybe Cindy knows. Uh -huh. I'll see you later. No, Thanks wait. Thanks for smoke. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, let me talk to Cindy. 